burn you. The world's changing, man. Five years ago, people could walk these streets safely without worrying. Now there's a dead body for every alley in the world. Five years ago, I was still on the force. I'm not saying those two are related, but who knows. Now I'm in the private game. Decent work, choose your hours. I never had to shoot anybody, it's much more relaxed. I've got an old friend on the force who kicks a couple cases my way. Usually I'd decline, but I was feeling extra generous today. Glad you decided to roll out of bed this morning. No, I'm not. Here's all the information we have on our friend here. Let's get started then. Here's Joe Crazy. I had to call him Joe Crazy. Because he is. Cigarette? Yes, it is. We does it for prints. No matches, though. Yeah, lighter works. What do you make of this? In my professional opinion, that man is dead which is murder, which is illegal. And you should arrest whoever did this. Well, at the end of the day, we don't have a lot to go on. Okay, well, what about the start of the day? This is great. We got no prints, we got no leads, got no nothing. You're a detective. Detect. Either do that or you're off the payroll. This was shaping up to be the biggest case in my life, maybe even my whole career. Somewhere out there, a murderer is walking around and probably relaxing, thinking they'll get away with it. And on any other occasion, they would. But now, now my paycheck lies in the balance. Oh man, if only there was someone out there I could talk to about my feelings and maybe settle down with and get away from this crazy world. Mary Hanover, 13 o'clock action news. Chris Landor, detective. May I come in? Of course. Detective, I wish this call were purely social. However, in light of a recent homicide, that simply is not the case. Yes, truly unfortunate. Uh, terrible tragedy. Uh, can I get you anything to drink? No, thank you. Uh, are you able to disclose any details in regards to your ongoing investigation? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of evidence. I bet I, I'll have this guy by the end of the week. Thanks again, Detective. You're really doing the Lord's work here. Good luck. Thanks, Mrs. Hanover. You know, just your regular heroic type. Goodbye, Mr. Landor. Goodbye. My life and my paycheck are on the line here. So I went to the one person I could get answers from. Old friend of mine, Paulie, knows everything about everyone. If you got questions, he's got answers. I need your help, Polly. Who? Polly? Never heard of him. What do you want to know? I've got a case right now. Someone delivered this to me. Well, I got the Samson bricklayers. You can tell by the pigment. So these come from the newest Fashion Monthly. Jesus Christ, you're a detective? Okay, well... You see what through it? No, but it comes from a fashion magazine. The culprit's most likely a woman. Alright, you sound like a detective. Well, I'm next, so they must think I'm onto them. Well, whatever you do, don't go to Sense and Bricklays at 4768 Spring Road. Miss Hanover? What are you doing here? Why do you have thugs? Wait, do you not get it? Get what? Well, I just thought you were on to me, so I had to kill you, but I guess you're not, so I don't? Miss Hanover, please, you're not a killer. Tony, how many people have I killed? Hey. Okay, uh, never mind. All right, I changed my mind. Well, detective, looks like the coroner has become the corn holer. Put the gun down. Who are you? This is the back if I call for it. Doesn't matter. I count. Two guns. 
guns and three. Count again. Joe Crazy, you're supposed to be dead. I had some unfinished business. Anywhere your friends show up, he's dead. He's not my friend. I'll blow his brains out. Nobody move. I've rigged this room with explosives and will detonate them if any of you try something I disagree with. Ten seconds till I struggle this room. It's your move, detective. Don't do it. She'll kill you. I have to. It's part of the job. But you never shot a gun before. I'll figure it out. Jesus Christ, what happened to her? I think I'm gonna be sick. Did you have to shoot her in the head? I was aiming for her hand. Jesus. <laughs>